A strange twist in the Elizabeth Holmes federal trial in San Jose. She spent time in court today watching herself. Interviews Holmes gave to NBC were entered as evidence today as the prosecution continues to try to convince the jury that Holmes was in charge at Theranos and calling the shots. Let's bring in our business and tech reporter Scott Budman who was in court all day and Scott we're out of the lab and into the investment phase of this trial. Yeah, it's true, Janelle, and there are several big-time investors, both from Silicon Valley, Sand Hill Road, and Wall Street, who collectively invested and lost hundreds of millions of dollars in Theranos. Today, one testified that Elizabeth Holmes was in charge and very persuasive. What do you think's going on here? This is what happens when you work to change things, and... It was shortly after a damaging Wall Street Journal article that Elizabeth Holmes went on CNBC's Mad Money to defend herself and Theranos. First they think you're crazy, then they fight you, and then all of a sudden you change the world. Prosecutors played the interview in court today. I think the TV clips give the jurors an opportunity to see Elizabeth Holmes in her element. They, they get to see her as the in-charge CEO is the very confident uh, investment individual. And that's a very different image than, the, than they're portraying now in the courtroom. For the second straight day, the trial featured a Theranos investor. This time, Lisa Peterson, equity manager and advisor to the DeVos family. As in former U.S. Secretary of Education, Betsy DeVos, her family invested $100 million into Theranos after Peterson testified, they met with Holmes and felt confident about the company's prospects. Peterson, like other investors, testified that Holmes was in charge. It could get the jury to see this woman is able to, with a very straight face and a very impassioned argument, make statements that she knows are false. Peterson was also asked if the DeVos family saw those interviews on television. She said yes, but that Holmes downplayed the bad news and again insisted that Theranos machines would work. Live in San Jose, Scott Budman, NBC, Bay Area News. Okay, Scott, thanks for the update today.